Hi there guys, this is Farmer Bob. Welcome back to my channel guys. Great to be back man with another video on uh, map conversion. Um, it's not really map conversion but rather um, a cow shed conversion uh, from FS19 to FS22. So yes, before we get stuck in, uh, if it's your first time on my channel, a big warm welcome to you. Great to have you and uh, remember to like and subscribe. I do appreciate that very much. And um, yeah, if you do like to support my channel, if you s enjoy my content, please do consider supporting on Patreon and PayPal and all those nice things. Every video will have a description in it and in the description is all my stuff, my website for my downloads. Uh, all my maps is available there to download for free. You can just carry on and enjoy. We also do have a, a, a full map making course on Patreon. So if you're interested in map making, do jump on there. It is only for Patreon members, but it's a full map making course starting from scratch right to the end where you've got a working map. Great, man, guys. So we've got that out of the way. So here we go. So what we're doing today is having a look at this uh, map is FS19 Gatehead Farm. Now, there's a, um, a guy on my Discord that's trying to convert this cow barn or he wants to do the... Um, he wants to... He's struggling doing the uh, animal pins, you know. So I'm going to give him and with converting this one cow pin, pin and also make a video of it you know for guys that struggle with animal pens and that and if you follow this process it's fairly straightforward and simple and uh, if you follow the process it will be all well you know great so here's the gated form um, this is the cow pin it's a custom cow pin now in order to actually see it this is just the buildings remember the buildings is is not the triggers it's not the working part of the cow pens the cow pens are called via the xml so what we need to do obviously then is grab um the forms uh let me just see where did i put this thing now it's in new map here we go uh converted this is where i am so i just want to see what i've done so i've just quickly converted the map using the in-game map converter which doesn't work by the way so this is what you get but if you can see this glossy terrain it's a huge problem as well as I've now disabled a lot of the uh, fields but there you can see that big glow that is from the the terrain not the terrain but the detail height for the fields the terrain detail it's impossible to fix that so you can't use this process to convert a map it's much easier just to redo the whole thing from scratch and um, work away from all the problem this glossy terrain you can get away uh, you can sort that out by converting all the ground textures to fs22 format and the glossy terrain will go away you know that's just part of it but anyway i'm, I'm digressing now <laughs> from the object okay so we were looking at the xml we want the placeables xml which will not be a placeables xml but it will be um it will be a map what is going on here now my word here we go it will be a items mod map items xml right so we want to find that cow pin husbandry cow lodge there is a few of them but i've already checked in the background it's that first one here this is the main one now i see the guy doesn't have the default form property yeah because uh, if you don't put that there this cow pin will still be available for you to use in in new f uh, in in start from scratch on the other modes you know so it won't disappear <laughs> anyway just uh, just a, a note there um great so what we want to do is grab this cow lodge uh xml not the xml but the i3d w which will be in this directory so we're going to go maps placeables animal husbandry so we're going to go converted maps placeables animal husbandry and here is the cow barn cow barn lodge is here cow lodge and that's the xml for it so we're going to import this just to see it in the map so let's open that in the map all right so in the map we're going to go file import because we need to see the triggers to make make out what where is the water stuff where is the the, uh, the straw and where is the feed and all that type of things you know we want to get the positioning for that great so so here we go so first things first open the desktop gated form converted in there mod map it's maps 
Replaceables and Animal Husbandry, Husbandry Cow Lodge. And now immediately you'll see, oh, but it's not there. But remember, we need to get the the, trans, the, the, the positioning and rotation from the XML as well. Otherwise, it will not position it. Because this is where it's actually calling it in game from the XML. You know, So we're going to just drop that in there. And it's already in spot. Okay, because rotation is zero. So that's why it's already in spot. Very nice. So now we can see this mesh. Uh, we're going to try and reuse the mesh and not try and redo the mesh. But um, I just want to see nav mesh. Oh, gosh. Control Z. Um, just want to go here. Yes, show nav meshes. There you go. That's the nav mesh there. And I can just show you that's what it looks like. All right, so we're going to try and reuse it instead of trying to reinvent the wheel and recreate the mesh. <laughs> so we're going to just leave that mesh as is. We'll use that in FS22 um, and just transfer it. Because in FS22, the mesh are outside of the cow lodge. It's not inside. So we will just export this mesh into our map to have it working. All right, so now, first things first, um, I'm just going to hide this mesh again because it will definitely be in the way. Uh, show nav meshes. There you go. All right. Good. All right. So first things first. We need to import now a Calbon Lodge from FS um, FS22 because we, we don't want to use this one. We want to have a new one that we can customize. So what we're going to do is we're going to import a new Cow Lodge. And then just place all the triggers in the in the proper spots, you know. So um, the animal loading trigger, for instance, is there. So we can just familiar, familiarize ourselves with where it is. Um, I think it's going to be best. Let's just import it directly. So we'll have the two cow lodges here. So we can just click on the one that we want to see, and then yeah, work it work our way from there. So file import, FS22, data, placeables, Rudolf Hoffman. Cow big. It's now cow big. Not you see. There's the mesh. So it doesn't use the the um, the mesh anymore. Let me just exit this thing because it's going to be um, popping here in my ears all the time, and it's, I'm sure it's annoying to everyone. <laughs> okay. So the nav mesh is outside of the i3d. It's not inside of the i3d. It's got its own i3d. So we'll sort that later on. So we want to import this into the map. And then um, just drop it here close by, Control B, like so. And it doesn't really matter how you align this, because we're going to move everything to um, to spec, you know, so so that it's in the right spot, anyways. All right. So I think maybe best to have it not over the stuff where we want to work. So just close by is good. So in the general vicinity <laughs> will be nice. All right. So first things first, we want to get rid of all the visual stuff on that cow barn. So into the visuals, into the LOD, and then find the barn visuals. There's the one. Cow barn big, cow barn big, like that. And then uh, barn props, barn props. What's in barn props? booked middle okay that's that little frame things we don't need any of the bond the gate that's that frames that's that there now gates you must be careful of because you might want to use the gates again you know um, but mind you this um, this maps gates are all set up in outside of the cow barn so that's all it's still FS19 so that runs via the animated objects uh, so we're going to get to remove the gates too. So bond props we can chuck. I just want to see top glass. That can go glass. So we're just working through all the stuff that um, is in the visuals. The ramp. Oh, you see the full master we don't want to lose. So I almost, uh, mind you, that's not part of bond props. So bond props we can delete. Right, like that. Top glass can go. Glass can go. Glass sides can go, decals can definitely go, screws can go. The full master we want to keep, that is our uh, liquid manure, new liquid manure filling thing. Uh, although it's already got one there, we need to keep this, guys, 
uh, because it's actually only visuals. But I'm not too sure if if it calls out of one of these names from the XML. So we're going to have a look at that. I'm just going to leave it for now. The ramp we can chuck water. Water is that little pathetic little bins that FS22 has got, the little water troughs, so that we can let go. Concrete slabs, um, we can let go of those. Inside props, what is that? It's little benches and things. There's not much of it, so let's just get rid of that. Right, and then in LOD, one ramp LOD that is something we can go uh, most of these are stuff that we've already done uh, deleted so you just get rid of them again logo green decal so we can go away with that okay so that is the end of that full monster that is one thing we're gonna leave that for now all right so we are left now with a few things the doors, garage doors, once again, like I said earlier on, the stuff you don't need, get rid of, but the stuff you want to keep, keep. Remember, these doors are going to work, but because he's already got doors and gates on this thing, working via the, uh, the map's own, uh, if I can show you, map's animated objects. So it's got its animated objects in there. So we don't need to bother with that, you know. So let us get rid of... Let's work from the top then now. Carbon big teleport node, food doors. Okay, so doors we can definitely chuck. And I'm going to give you a tip here, guys. You can leave the transform um, and just delete the, the stuff in the transform. It's going to make your naming, the naming in the XML a little bit better, you know. So um, leave the the transform there because then what happens is your your index paths stay the same I'll show you later on when we balance the XML with the i3d then um, it's gonna help a lot there you know so straw we definitely want to keep milk tank we want to keep lights we definitely want to keep because I know for a fact if it's mind you uh, I'm not too sure if the lights work in uh, in this map but if the lights doesn't work you can keep the lights but in this case I'm just gonna chuck the lights it's a lot of work to place the lights so this video is just to sort of help you along with the process of bringing it over but you need to place now every little light in its little spot where you want it so so I'm just gonna get rid of the lights altogether. Uh, light switch but it is good to have the FS22 lights in but if you want to use the FS19 lights um, I suppose if you can get them to work it will be good um, uh, in in my opinion, just get rid of all the triggers and stuff for the lights and just do them a visibility condition for the lights. So what you do in visibility condition, you select, deselect the use parent. Uh, so you make your lights transform and add all your lights in there. And then you will uh, deselect the use parent and you start here by the minute of the day. It's 1140, I think 1140 minutes. It's six o'clock at night. And then a uh, minute uh, when it starts again, uh, I think it's 360 is five o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning. So you can just work out the minutes of the day to start and end there. Um, or you can just don't worry about that. Just go actually much, much better is to go to uh, required mask hex. Just make this bigger. Whether required mask hex, just go in here and select night. That's all you actually need to do. And it will change to 40 here. And that's it. It will switch the lights on when it goes dark and it will switch it off when it when it goes light, you know, so just leave it like that. It will be fine. It's a much easier way of um, oh, clear. Oh, my wet. Just want to click clear this uh, clear. OK, there you go. And select it just the way it was because we're not going to use anything there at the moment. Good. All right. So we were here. Food, doors, storage, straw, milk tank, lights, liquid manure. We're going to definitely use that. That's the trigger for there. Water places. Water place one. We will set these in place for the for the alt or, or, or the alt uh, um, water place. 
navigation root node this is important because uh, this is where we're going to add our new mesh all right so uh, just keep that in mind navigation root node it's got this walking plane stuff as well mm. we might need to build a new mesh after all if I if I look at that um, yeah gonna have to sort that out but I'll, I'll, I'll go you through this process it's actually very simple uh, fences we can get rid of uh, we don't want any fences because the map has already got fences so we delete the whole fence thing keeping the transform there vector garage what is that spline okay the, the, this is for um, for your um, what do you call it this is for your AI um, if you've got AI, so this splines will obviously be moving here. Uh, spline reverse, spline to barn, spline feeding, spline to garage. So this is just for AI stuff. Um, you can place the, put those in place. So let me just make it visible so you can see. It's just a small little AI little strip there, you see. Um, yeah, but we'll get to those later. We're going to move them in place. Warning stripes we don't need because um, it's already got warning stripes. Let's just to see what warning stripes they have. There's milk, animals, liquid, marker, food. I'm just going to delete all of those inside because we've already got them in the map. Now these are very important guys because without these clearing and leveling areas your map will not work. Uh, level areas, indoor areas, foliage areas is important, paint areas, test areas tip occlusion update areas tip occlusion and um, dynamically loaded parts this is where the um, the milk container and that little control robots the milking robots come in alright so that we will definitely set and you'll see uh, for instance the milk container this is where the milk container gets loaded in the actual thing will uh, it will fit with the milk tank you see so there it is the milk tank gets there and whatever all right good so now that we've gotten rid of all the stuff we don't need we can start from the top by just moving the stuff in place so teleport note if you go into your map in game and you select um, the cow barn and select visit this teleport note will drop you um, where the barn is so let us put it somewhere I think I'm gonna make the teleport note control B just drop it here like that good and then food let's move our food in place all right now what's going to happen guys with the food now this thing has got a a full plane here and this plane is going to appear as you drop food on the food uh, when, when you load all food in the thing it will fill this little full plane so we need to move this thing into the barn now where the food gets dropped so let's have a look you see the food on this one is now here in this little things here so I'm just gonna move that closer food And now what's strange about this map also is it's at a slope. It's not straight. This thing is um, not level. I've uh, had a look at it a little bit. It's not a very level um, ground surface here where this form is. It's actually at a slope. <laughs> so all the stuff is going to be need, needing special alignment, you know. Great. So food... food places is just where the cows is going to be so I've got an idea that I might need to uh, swing this thing around 90 uh, 180 degrees like that let's go there zero it and bring it up like that there you go so what I want to do is just sort of align it in there It actually doesn't look too bad with the height, you know. It does go... I 
can't really say if it is lower or higher or whatever but I'm gonna just put it like that something like that and then you can always come afterwards and up and down this if if it need be you know all right and then we need to go to food places so I was gonna see uh, full volume food that's it there so we need to I know if you if you start fiddling with the size of this thing um, it it might bite you in the back but we're gonna give it a go anyway so I know for a fact um, it doesn't have a rigid body so that is a good thing so let's just make it smaller uh, I want to make it smaller so it fits into this food trough so it looks by the looks of it looks like we need to move it a little bit like that maybe so that's two blocks at the end I think if I go more like from the top it will be better to uh, sort of just get it um, that's one and a half just want to sort of get it in the center all right and now we can go to this full volume food that will be in the center now and food places and everything and the bail trigger oh we can move that just now all right so full volume food so let us see which scale do we need to bring in it is that one so it's x and to get it it's going to be about 0.65 by the looks of it right yeah. so it, so if we now um go back to food and move this guy now like that good i think that will be swell man swell good um food places thing this is where the cows is going to eat so we need to adjust them accordingly and these things guys uh, is going to have to be adjusted according to um, according to the uh, what do you call it the nav mesh the nav mesh will come and the food places we will have to move them later on but now I'm I'm a bit worried now food places yes let's just I'm not too sure which side the cows are going to eat now food have I got this thing the wrong way around I think I've got it the wrong way around guys if I'm correct let me just swap swap this back to uh, zero and bring it in there from that way because I'm sure I've got it the wrong way around <laughs> Just want to get it right guys just want to get it right close to right anyways okay yeah I think that's gonna make more sense you know because now the cows is gonna be in from this side and the food will slope off that way I've, I've added wrong guys sorry about that I'm trying my best guys good so food places food place one we'll just move that in to there two so let's do two cows there's eight of them so let's do two cows per one of these things you know put one there one there and number three we'll put there number four oh, number four looks good five is a bit out six and this is sort of just a way to uh, you must fiddle around guys if you if you feel this trough isn't working for you because we are modifying the fs22 one now to fit an fs19 building so obviously there will be stuff that needs to be modified maybe you can make this trough bigger or extend the barn a little bit or it, it's up to you you know but we we're fitting it in great and the bail trigger okay so let's leave that alone because that is by the looks of it the trigger is there so I'm going to just move that forward a little bit to to go into sort of where the bales is going to be dropped all right so let's leave that there so that was our food doors we skip straw now the straws are uh, planes those are just planes that appear now everywhere where you've got planes now unfortunately 
this meshes for the straw if I recall correctly you cannot um, you cannot split them or whatever so you're gonna have to work with what what they've got here and fit that in here over the um, existing one I'm going to try and zoom I think my sensitivity and my speed here is a bit too much I'm just going to go to 10 here at the bottom so that I can uh, zoom in and out slower you know otherwise it's going to be hectic okay so straw plane so what I'm going to do is bring the whole straw plane over oh, where is it now oh on this side my word getting confused guys bring it up you see what I mean by this building isn't straight it, it it's sort of this stuff is all rotate at zero um, but if you if you lower something in or out it it's sort of higher there than it's there so this whole building seems to s work on a slope you know so if I select this building for instance um, where is this what is it not selecting the building now form oh yes it's this shed you see it's it's at zero so there's something I'm not too sure what's going on on this thing eh, guys <laughs> but anyway let's not fiddle with that um, it, it's just weird as you can see uh, it's it's very weird so straw trigger um, no that's the wrong cow barn I was just gonna say uh, that's the wrong one so we want to go to this cow barn straw get our straw working there's something flickering here it's like a generator or something Where is this generator? It's flickering in my eye. For some reason, I don't know what is going on here, but I can't select things anymore. I'll click on them, but they don't select. Now I have to do this. And that's not the generator. frustrating guys let me just save this thing as it is just want to get rid of this little thing here maybe they've got the generator that's a windmill it's one of these It's a windmill. Ah, let's just bother, not bother with it, guys. I'll just, I uh, won't look there. <laughs> oh, what? It's pretty annoying, but anyway, let's yeah, just carry on. Uh, wow, where am I now? Here we go. All right. So, very, very lost um, cow barn straw okay so I think what we'll need to do then is try my and plane this thing out so it at least sort of chuck straw into the building uh, I'm going to leave it as is because it does actually show up here and remember your, fo your, your straw plane is weird guys though it shows um, I'm just going to bring it up a little bit alright so I'm gonna leave it like that that should be okay so it's gonna have some strips of straw dropping in here I wonder what will happen I've never tried this um, grabbing the FS19 straw plane and just paste it in there 
Let's have a look at it. Uh, where is the straw plane for that? So let's um, let's uh, duplicate that and cut it and close that little uh, husbandry cow lodge and go in here straw so straw is 84 that should be 840 so I'm going to uh, just drop it here and do that so that's the FS22 one and My word, what happened now? Cow Lodge Straw Plain So now they've got three straw planes here I'm going to try this guys Oh, um, I don't want to... Um, see if I can duplicate three at a time and then cut them um. carbon big straw drop them in there and they need to be above that one okay straw blade plane one two and three so um they will obviously be now a bit skew so we'll have to realign them because they now are somewhere else where they're not supposed to be so let's have a look control b drop them in here So it somewhat looks like it's something like this. But you get the point, guys. We're going to have to add a few things in the XML to make these things work. just leave it like that and by the looks of it, it might be some straw in here too you know so let's just drop some straw here to control B all right something of the kind so you got the idea you'll play around with that yourself good so that uh, that is for the straw then the milk tank now I want to see where's the milk on this guy, uh, the milk for this guy, not too sure, but for that we need to go to the husbandry lodge, find the milk, the milk tank on this one is there, alright, so this is little dairy house here, this little white building, alright, so our milk trigger is there, so milk tank on this one, milk tank, got the milking robots uh, that's a big thing so the milk trigger control B just want to see where is it oh it's all there now so the milk trigger goes here so just drop it here over this thing like so and now we've got three robots in this thing so the robots are called these are just nodes guys so I'm wondering how on earth are we going to place the robots? Do they have spots here for the robots? So this is actually the feeding thing. Here is some brushes for them to brush. You see the FS19, um, did it have robots? I can't remember if it had robots, but... Um, only got the milk trigger that's all warning stripes values level error visuals so I think the best will probably be um, 
these looks like where the cows carve, you know, and this site definitely looks like they might be here to be milked, you know. Um, if you look at the piping and everything that goes over here, so it must definitely be uh, piping so for milking. So what I'm going to do with that robots, um, we're going to place them here. So milk trigger milking robot, control B. And I'm not sure of the direction, guys, how they are even um, sort of going to be uh, standing, you know. So so if you find in the game it's not in the right spot uh, or it's rotated the wrong way just come back here and rotate it in the i3d you know in in the actual cow barn ai loading node milk all right so that is again ai stuff just want to make it it is visible control b i'm going to drop it here Doop, on the loading for the milk all right the lights we've skipped, liquid manure. This is now where the liquid manure is with that little trigger thing. So I think this one is, that's glowing and flickering is our liquid mil liquid manure trigger. All right, so um, so the trigger we want here, control B. On that little spot, we can rotate it a tiny little bit so it will be at 90 degrees. And just push it over there, something of the kind. I think that should be all right. AI load again, control B, drop it here for the AI to load here. Okay, now the same drill with the water places. Um, water places, the water places luckily uh, does not really work on the, um, the mesh that much. I don't think the mesh worries about the water places. Or is it now? I think it's the food. Yeah, it's the food and the water, if I'm correct now. So what I'm going to do is move this forward like that. And then just put it in the middle. And I just want to see where this water places are. There's one, two, three. Oh, they're randomly all around for that little bucket things. Okay, so we're going to just drop them here into... Um, I want to do that it's actually irrelevant if you if you look at it this now um so you can actually have it anywhere so I'll just for the fun of it put it in the middle and then place one go in there and place two go in there and once again if you get that error that says uh, your cow's heads are out or too short the head placement or whatever for food or for water you just come and move this the whole thing then forward or backward closer to the to the nav mesh you know so that's basically what happens it's not close enough to them to the mesh good all right so that's the water places done right so the nav the actual nav mesh guys so now we want to this is where your cows walk by the way that's where your cows walk so we're going to drop this thing um I'm wondering if we should create a new mesh. I think let's just create a new mesh, guys. I'm going to just uh, re redo the nav mesh completely. Now, in order to do that, um, I'm just thinking now. I'm just thinking now. I know these things. Oh, you know, they've got rigid bodies. So if you scale them, you need to uh, always make the scale back to zero for the triggers um, to work. And I think it's going to be the same for this plane, this food plane that we've done here on top. I forgot about that. Full volume food. You see this thing that we've changed, the scale? What we need to do is just remember, if it's got the, a rigid body, just take the rig rigid body tick off for a moment and then come here to um, uh, edit and then freeze the transforms and just take off uh, preserve instances, obviously leave that on and just click apply. Uh, sorry, we want the scale to, to be selected as well because we want to just do the scale. Apply. There you go. And it will it will reset it. Preserve instances means it will only do to this one. So it will preserve all the other ones with the same name. So we're working on this one. So just leave it like that. All right. Good. So that is the same thing we're going to have to do now with, uh, with this um, nav mesh. 
Good. So we need to uh, place where where we want. And now that I think of it, uh, this is a little thing, but it's right at the bottom, so we'll get to that later on. This is a little milking, uh, the liquid manure, visual, tanky thingamabob. There is a reason why we left it, because I think the I3D mapping pulls something in here. I'm not too sure what it is, but we'll have a look later when we're there, what it does and what it does not do. All right, so getting to the nav mesh, guys. What we want to do with the nav mesh, it's got a shape. Uh, we want to make it renderable like that, so you can see it. I'm just I'm just thinking a bit guys whether we should let's just create a new one so to do that you go create a plane a primitive plane drop the plane there into where we are by the nav mesh okay and then take this navigation mesh name copy it control C Uh, that's the shape sorry we want this one control C uh, and then just rename this plane of yours to that control V like so take that one off just want to make sure that this hex is FE just want to think now the hex must be FE so remember that guys so on on the new mesh we want a, uh, um, a hex of FE there uh, it's best I can't remem remember I think it's 1 to 7 uh, 4, 5, 6 and 7 F, F, was it F, F or F, E is it now F, F or F, E it is F, E alright so mesh F, E it's easier just to type F, E and hit enter and then check what it is so it is 1 to 7 not 0 to 7 guys <laughs> ok <laughs> all right if you want to select them otherwise just type fe the there hit enter this is very important uh, to have it's the it's the nav mesh hex so when you build your nav mesh it uses this setting here and it gives a channel for each animal like channel two is uh, chickens or three is chickens um seven is cows you know that type of stuff so uh, it's very important to have this mesh at the right uh, have the right channels for it okay good so now we can delete this one get rid of it altogether and then grab uh, that nav mesh plane control b drop it here you'll see it's a tiny little white dot and i'm gonna quickly just uh, run this plane guys um You want it just above the ground, so, and I've I've left it visible, um, renderable, so that um, one thing I forgot to do now is check what what the other plane was was selected here. Uh, Non-renderable, I think it was distance blending as well, if I'm correct. Yeah, it was at four. Very important to keep the keep the things the same. But I can uh, quickly undo. Undo, 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 undo. There you go. So now we can have a, just a quick browse there. Yes, I was correct. So it's that first five that needs to be enabled, but we leave it non-renderable for now just to have something to work with. Okay, good. So let's re delete it again. <laughs> Control V, drop it in there. The best is to, to put it on the floor. Control B where you're going to work. And then you've got the height for it and just lift it up a tiny bit. I don't know, this this, this building and this ground just doesn't look right to me. I, I don't know what's going on with this place. Anyways, just like that. And now we're going to start stretching it. Moving it about and uh, fiddling with it until it's right. I just want to quickly sort out my cable here for my screen. It is fiddling with me. All right. So pull it out and stretch it and fit it where you want your cows to walk. Remember, one thing is important. Don't make it um, make it uh, like, don't go over the edges. 
because remember they need to uh, don't need to need to not bump into things. Great, so pull that a bit wider out. Let's go into the building and see. Now that's pretty perfect, I would say. That mesh, uh, we can bring it in a little bit because you don't want it to be too close to uh, stuff. But that I think it will be fine like that. Great, so that brings our cows out. In fact, I'm going to, um, yeah. And now all we need to do now, now that we have all of this done and sorted and uh, um, set correctly, uh, three, four, non-renderable FE. That's very important on the shape. All right. Good. All we good. All we do now is Control D. Duplicate it and move it out. And you see now what happens now. In FS22, you don't have to worry about the height, guys. In FS19, it was a problem. Your cows will walk in the air. But here in FS22, don't worry about the height. Um, just carry on extending your stuff in and out and wh wherever you want them to walk. So I've learned also, do not make your, um, your things for your cows too big. Because otherwise your cows start um, doing funny things. They start stuttering around and... Or doing all crazy stuff, you know, if your area is too big where the cows walk. So it's not really important to to sort of um, have the whole area covered. Because remember, the cows are, you're not going to have all your cows walking anyway. The, I think the limit of cows is like 20 or 30 that's visible. So um, just to have a, an area for your cows to walk outside, that's good. And, and you can make, make these things smaller if you've got a very large camp. Make the strips where they walk smaller. So put like a, a strip. This strip is a bit thin, but make it a bit bigger outside, like twice this size. And put a strip here and a strip there and a strip there and a strip there. So that it, they walk like in a circle, you know, sort of. And when you walk, when you drive by, the cows are going to walk on that strip um, in any case you know so it doesn't really matter it's just a, a matter of uh, if your cows are starting to start to the round and they they uh, they they like stop and go stop and go and and they they're not moving smoothly then you know yeah my mesh is too big or it's too intense you know so that is basically what i found and then you just come in and make it smaller and um, re-export and figure it out you know do it right so I'm just going to put that strip in there for the cows to eat. Come inside. You see now, look at this mesh now. It's weird, guys. It is totally weird. See, it goes down and then up again. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Is it me or is it just is it crazy? Anyway, so let's make this one smaller. Don't want the cows to go out. Thanks, my honey. My wife has brought me some nice coffee. Appreciate. Long overdue for some coffee. Okay, so we're just going to shrink it a little bit more. And come this way. Have a look. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get away with that size there. A little bit more bigger. And once again, guys, do not uh, let your cows bump into stuff like there. That's too big. So make it a bit smaller. Actually, basically, just want them to get to the troughs, you know, the food troughs. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good to me. And um, it's all right for these things to overlap just a little bit. It doesn't have to overlap that much, you know, because we, we're basically just setting up the whole thing for the, for the nav mesh to be created. All right. Good. Nice. That is fine. Oh, we can actually put one in here as well. Maybe to uh, put the cows to walk in there. So I'm going to just duplicate that one. And pull it over. And note, I haven't changed anything on my height of these um, things. These little planes. So I'm going to make this one small. Honestly, don't know if the cows will use it if it's too small. But... Um, 
it's worth a try and bring it in a little bit yeah that's perfectly all right just up to there should be okay and these cows can walk through things you'll f you'll find that they walk through gates and put through things they won't um, get stuck on, on stuff easily you know all right so that is I think our whole mesh sorted all done and dusted so what we do now we're going to go back into all of these meshes into the shape and make them non-renderable again non-renderable and non-renderable because when when you save your map you want those to be fine right and then this walking plane I'm going to just drop it in there to be honest guys I've got no idea what the walking plane does I don't know why it's there because uh, the nav mesh is already a walking plane so what, what I'm going to do just for the heck of it I know the walking plane is where the food is so I'm going to bring this walking plane in here uh, it is made visible so uh, once again now this thing is underground so I'm not too sure why it's underground but I'm going to bring it up until I see it down there and it's got a rigid body so I'm going to go to the rigid body sorry here the tab is here remove it for now and remember I must put it back guys to remember me remind me that I need to put it back so we how did this thing now turn that way I didn't turn it that way did I oh no 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 there, there it is this is the, the front side of it I've just made it much smaller and once again I'm going to just ooh, yeah it's very sensitive that's what's happened it is extremely sensitive right so I'm going to bring it in a little bit more and I think that little tip, lip thing there is for the for the trough so you just bring it in there and my rotation is zero 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 okay just so just bring it in there like that go down a little bit I don't know what's going on with this thing but anyway this map is weird <laughs> I think this floor or this ground is not level on this building if you ask me but anyway it's not the point the point is we need to get this thing um, bigger now so that will cover the whole trough something like that I think I'm gonna also just pull it a little bit now let me just do the trough with this because um, I don't want it to go past the trough tiny bit in yeah that's good and now I'm gonna just drop it down like that good all right so that's our walking plane now guys what we need to do now is for a second I don't want to export with the walking plane so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drop this walking plane into the fence for now and then just grab the the, the root node the navigation root node and then I'm gonna go file export selection just onto my desktop and I'm going to call it nav mesh because we want to generate the mesh now for the cows so on the desktop I just export it there uh, go into my desktop and then find that nav mesh there it is and open it up 906 okay and then before we create we want to uh, be a hundred percent sure of our stuff here it's fe everyone needs to be fe every one of them needs to be fe good okay so that looks good all right sounds great and yeah now you can see if i zoom out a little bit what our walking or, or our navigation mesh is going to look like so now all we want to do is select it if I'm correct I can't remember now we just go create uh, nav mesh on its own um, 
The only thing that you need to change is the radius. We want a radius of uh, 0 0.7. Is it now 0 0.7 or is it 7? But I think it's 0 0.7, guys. Yeah, it must be 0 0.7. The rest stays the same and we click create. And then if it if it doesn't create your nav mesh there, just open your console and have a look what the error is, if there is an error. The radius is 0.7 and it looks great. So there's our nav mesh, guys. So what we do now with this one is we go File, Export Selection. And now we go into our map uh, on the desktop. Is our map, uh, New Map. I've put it under New Map, converted uh, into that folder that we have. So it's Maps, Placeables, um, Animal husbandry, and we just drop it in here. Control V. Sorry, man, <laughs> I'm controlling V. <laughs> oh my word, uh, I haven't had enough coffee yet, guys. Uh, just go nav mesh, just like that. Let's save it. Good. And now we're going to close this for now and we're going to save the changes here just to keep it. So if something is not right, we can go back to the nav mesh adjust or we can re-export the nav, um, whatever way we're going to get to it. All right. So there you are, guys. So that is all done. We're done with that. The fence, we want to just drop the walking plane back in there because we don't want to export the walking plane. It creates issues when you create the nav mesh, you know, so yeah, just keep it there, all done and dusted. Right. I think it will work like that. Let's hope so. Right, so Victor Garage is our next one. I'm not too sure what that is. Oh, that's for the splines. Now, the splines, guys, um, is for AI, as I said before. You can, on the actual cow barn, have a look at how the splines are placed and how they set up for for the workings of that. I'm not going to be bothered with that now. It's only for AI. It's got nothing to do with the cows themselves, guys. All right, spline reverse, spline to barn, uh, spline feeding, and spline to garage. So yeah, it's it's all uh, how things are walking and working. I'm actually wondering if I'm talking trash or if it's got to do maybe with that milking robots. Uh, no, but I'm in spline reverse. Hello. <laughs> what cow is going to reverse? <laughs> I'm not sure, guys. Uh, in fact, let's have a look at that quick because I'm want. i I'm curious now. I've made myself curious. So let's have a quick browse. What the heck is this spline? Okay, so Rudolf Hoffman, cow born big. There it is. Uh, Cowborn Big. Let's open this up and have a browse where that splines are located. I can't remember if I ever bothered with them because, yeah. So let's have a look. Where is those things? It was called Victor Victor Garage. And this one we're going to make visible all of them so we can see what they do. Visible. Spline to garage visibility. Right, so here we go. So, yes. All right, so if you put that vector garage on here, it adds that little robot thing for the auto feeder. And that is what this is for, guys. So it's for that little robot. So it comes out here, in there, and then spline to feeding, and it runs out that way. Spline to barn, and it makes a U-turn. It comes back in there and then it reverses back into the little full station that's what it's for guys so now we all know that's what the vector v vector garage is so don't bother with that uh, unless you want to add a uh, um, um, that feeding robot in here which is going to be intensely difficult <laughs> i don't know if you should bother with that let's just delete all these splines because we're not going to use them 
at all. Leave that in there to keep the indexing right. The warning stripes is fine. The info trigger. All right. Info trigger vector and loading trigger. Info trigger. Now we're going to have to have a look at the XML, what the info trigger calls. Because, uh, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, so, Cowbond Big, we copy that because we're going to have a custom um, Cowbond. So, it's Control c into our map once again. Uh, now, I've digressed from my map folder. Uh, where is it? Desktop. Uh, converted maps placeables. This is it. Okay, did form uh, maps placeables animal husbandry. So uh, I'm thinking we can uh, we can add this XML in here as well. I normally put all my XMLs in one folder called XML in my maps folder so that they all nice and neat in there. You know, make sure your wording and uh, uh, when you do your placeables.xml, it, it sorts of otherwise you have to have all these thousands of different directories and spellings and and then you have the shop uh, um, uh, the store items and that needs to be uh, it is a nightmare so it's much easier having this xmls in in one spot um, maybe in your maps folder create a folder called xml and uh, just drop it in there and this is only for the game to load your cow barn, your custom cow barn. So, the, so that's it so in here we want to now have a look and remember this i3d needs to now change to the new one that we're going to save we haven't saved it yet so don't bother with that now but we wanted to have a look at that um, thingamabob the info trigger so the easiest is to just grab the name info trigger control c and see where it pops up here in the XML. You see trigger note, info trigger. So it's possible that it's for that little icon with a little exclamation mark. So it's probably just an exclamation mark icon. Um, so uh, I'm just going to drop that maybe control B it somewhere there maybe. That should be fine. Trigger vector. Let's have a look what trigger vector does. Control C back in the XML control V okay okay so it's deleted node goes both of those tip collision uh, info trigger vector and uh, that's tip collision vector I wanted info trigger vector oh there it is sorry man <laughs> okay so we we, we know those are definitely for that vector extension of the robot so that's why they deleted notes here in this um, barn but they are still in the i3d so it doesn't really matter where they are so you can ignore them loading trigger now this is important this is where your animals gets loaded so i'm going to grab that and just make sure uh, control v what this is calling loading trigger 015 here it is animals cow loading trigger definitely it is for your place where um, the cows are get, gonna get loaded and by the way guys while we here at animals there's your navigation mesh that we've created that needs to be loaded so we need to point this in the right mesh uh, in the right spot so we'll get to that just now but the animal loading trigger uh, to do that we need to go to our original cow barn and <coughs> just see where the animal loading trigger is there there it is see so simple and easy okay so animal loading trigger where am I now on this grand scheme of things milk tank straw water places nav fence vector garage info trigger loading trigger there it is control B drop it here just make it visible to uh, sort of have the best setup for it. Just want to come here on top, make sure it's sort of. Oh, I'm going to put it a little bit there because the gate is there. Good, so that's our loading trigger to load the animals. Now, clear and leveling areas. These things, none of this are important because. Um, 
these are used for when you place a mod in game when you buy a cow shed in game in the in game mode and you want to place it it uses this clear and leveling areas we can humor ourselves by um, creating a clear and leveling for it but this is already placed you know so you're doing a custom setup yeah you don't need to move these anywhere just leave them alone don't worry about them just leave them as is the indoor areas um, to be honest I've, I, I'm sure it's got something to do with um, AI or stuff where, where um, the things are walking and whatever is available but if you look at the indoor areas uh, for this you find it basically uh, just de depletes the size of the of the um, of the old cow or, or the actual original cow barn. You see there, it sort of does that. All right. I normally just leave these alone as well. Don't think it will make any difference if we don't move them. But just to humor ourselves, I'll pull it in here, in the center of the cow barn. And now our indoor areas will be sort of aligned, you know, some somewhat. See, all right, so makes everyone happy. Foliage areas are very important, guys. These we need to set. The foliage areas are a basic um, necessity for your cows to um, set the area where they graze. Um, so what's going to happen now is when you put this barn now up, it's going to put grass wherever this area covers. So it's going to put that cow grass for you. So I just want to see it goes there and then it goes up. All right, so that one will be our start. So I'm going to put that roughly about, let's put it in alignment with this and pull it down here to the bottom. Now there's already grass in this field, but it's going to add some more grass now to this field. So let's just do it there. And for our height, uh, let's just go up right to the top there. Good. So there it is. There is some mods about that uh, you can have your co cows actually eat the grass on the field and get fed by the grass on the field. So if this foliage area are not set like this, then the cows, that mod won't work and the cows won't eat the grass, you know. So if you do this, it's very good as well for having all of that gone. Same with the painting areas. Um, it's not nothing to be worrying about same with testing areas don't worry about those it's all for placeable stuff when you buy buy the actual mod in game so tip occlusion update areas so now have a look at that now i'm going to leave that as is that's all right it's all in the place where the cows walk so that's fine tip collision what did I make visible? I forgot to make something invisible. Uh, trying to think now again. It was that navigation. I still told you guys to remember me and you, you didn't remind me. It was that uh, walking plane, I think. Let's go quickly go back there. Um, water places? No. It was at um, there walking plane visibility and we needed to go back with the rigid body that's correct and then visibility oh we never we never zeroed it oh we forgot to zero it guys um, first before you um, do the rigid body Let's just zero it, make it visible. You have to be have to be visible to, to do this. So edit, freeze transforms, scale. We want to do the scale and just zero to one. Because otherwise stuff doesn't work, guys. It's very important to have that. And now we can make it invisible and add a rigid body for it again. Okay, that's good. Just to um, be clear on that. I honestly can't remember if the if the nav meshes needs to have a rigid body but we can quickly verify that um, just by going into the actual one data placeables Rudolf uh, cow barn big cow barn big 
it's it's the same for for all the animal pens you know so it doesn't really matter good so let's just have a quick browse at that um, navigation meshes can't remember if it's got a rigid body or it doesn't the walking plane definitely has all right so so that is different okay good so I just wanted to verify that you know be sure be sure good right so we were there at the test areas tip occlusion tip occlusion the dynamically loaded parts very important obviously the control that is that little control box for the the milking robot so it's something that sits on your wall um uh, now we're going to have to reopen that cow barn big because uh, we have to verify the direction of that little control box and remember we've already deleted the <laughs> deleted the um thingamabobs the visual stuff so let's have a look the uh dynamically loaded parts control f so you select it press f it will take you there uh, okay so it is where is it so it is pointing at it looks like this is the milking thing yeah so the blue is away from the wall that's what we want to see so the blue is away from the wall and it's at the bottom of the floor by the looks of it yeah it's on the bottom of the floor green up and the blue is away from the wall that's the direction that we want to have that little control box set all right so we know that milking robots we put it here so we're going to set that little control box thingamabob right here control b going to drop it here in the center of this wall right there in the corner and this is this stuff is very difficult to get the right um, distance away from the wall type of thing you know but if it's not you can always come back from uh, in game and um, just move it about a little bit all right i think that will be will be all right and then blue needs to be away from the wall let's just zero it out good if you see it's too far away from the wall come just move it back and save the i3d again and rem remember to zero the i3d i'll show you later on because we're going to do it still the milk container guys all right so the milk container is the actual milk container thingamabob let's just have a look at the original carbon milk tank it's called yeah i think and it can't be the tank is the tank here as well where did they put the tank there's the tank oh you see it's already got a tank uh, so what you'd like to do then um, I wonder if these doors are even operable can you operate these doors I'm not too sure see I'm not too sure why this thing is doing this with me there you go there's a door yeah the door's got a trigger I don't know how this trigger works but anyway uh, it is vis oh it's not vis yeah it is visible so uh, I don't see the trigger but anyways uh, that's part of the XML of the map so what we want to do is take this tank um, this milk tank so let's see now why can't I select stuff anymore guys just bear with me for a sec I just want to save this map and reopen it because something is a foot it, it started earlier on when you click on something it doesn't select it so I, I can't see anything of my stuff that's wrong so I just want to reopen this map I've just saved it what do you why do you want to resave it oh wait let's it because just in case the previous one didn't save <laughs> the last thing i want to do 
<laughs> you start all over again. I'm going to leave this open, guys, just for um, for now. And then uh, let's just press F5 here. Map DE sound. Where's my map? Am I losing my mind? Mod map. What's mod map? That's the uh, guys. This this guy's stuff is so weird. All the naming is weird. It's just just my me, you know. <laughs> Everything is weird. But anyway, each guy, each mapper has got his own way of doing things. You must do what's comfortable to you, you know. For me, it doesn't make sense. Uh, and it's still the same. I can't select this thing here. It's a little milk tank. There it is. Voss. It's a farce. A farce. Is there anything else selected in the map? No, doesn't look like it. All right, because then we're going to go now and delete this uh, milk tank. Boop like so and we want to now um, put our own milk tank in here uh, milk tank uh, we were here yeah, paintable test dynamically loaded parts it's going to drop our milk container here control b all right yeah so once again guys uh we can go into the actual um the actual barn to see where the milk container is it's standing there with the blue and the red towards the walls so that is basically the way we want to position it here in the map with the blue and the red position to the walls so I'm gonna just give it a little bit more space maybe in the middle of this long wall yeah I think that should be alright not gonna do more than that all right winter you can uh, just have a look at the winter uh, obviously snow and icicles <laughs> you can now if you want modify this i'm going to show you how to do the winter as well just for the fun of it or for the heck of it at least do one of your bonds uh, with with winter um, roughly and once again guys um this thing if you if you start modifying this uh, um, be, do remember to scale it again because if you don't scale it the snow doesn't come on top of it that's the, the only tip I can give you and the best tip I can leave with you all right so if you look at the pitch of the roof let's just get the roof size right first so let's do that make this thing a bit smaller Right, so that's 0.639. How does that look? It's close enough, guys. You can fiddle and position it perfect on your own time. Don't want to waste your time. And then you'll see now the pitch of the roof is wrong. Now, to, to, to change the pitch of the roof is very easy. You pull this up to make it the pitch smaller. You pull it down to make the pitch uh, bigger you know or uh, is it the other way around so if you pull this down it's going to go flatter if you pull it up it's going to go uh, steeper so let's just bring that down that's too much so we're going to sort of oops control z if you do it wrong like me just do control z and what you want to do is have a look at the this lines when they touch the roof here they don't touch the roof here it's still it still needs to be a little bit steeper so we're gonna go do that oh that's too much again it's very sensitive guys Anyway, you get my drift. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Totally forgot. First, do the sides. Because if you do the sides, the pitch is going to change as well. So, first, do the sides of uh, the building. Just like that. It's too big still. My word, these things are sensitive. My gosh. 
If you find it's too difficult here, go here to the, the side. So let's go do 7. Let's just pull this up a little bit. So 7 is too too much. 7 7.8 that's close enough and then let's bring it down again now we need to just fiddle with the with this pitch again but you get my drift guys I'm not going to spend too much time on this you can align it nicely because it's oh my word winter and you do select the winter guys do the whole thing don't do just the snow or whatever otherwise your stuff will stay behind what I wanted to do was just align it here some, somewhere like that All right, you can play with that on your own time good so once you've got that aligned that's the snow done the visuals uh, lastly I think we've got to move that full master so if you're, if you're not happy with the in game one which I will suggest in this case this thing is flickering so let's get rid of it Gameplay connector. Is the connector at this? Why is this in gameplay? It's the liquid manure pit. Ah, it's part of the husbandry cow lodge. It's going to go anyway because we're not going to load this cow lodge. Yeah. Okay. So that's quite cool, guys. Right. It is quite cool. So let us. Um, not bother with that so it's part of that so it's not there in real life or once we've done with this cow barn so we can take that little full master and drop it here control b and swing it around because we want the pipe to be at 90 degrees good and pull it back a little bit uh, just like that something of the kind good like that guys uh, I think probably just align it a bit better onto this concrete block and there it is collision let's just have a look what the collision is if it is visible let's see what it is oh collision we can delete we don't need that Boop. so just leave the transform guys all right so now that we have that guys the thing to do now will be to take this whole cow barn like is we can now delete the old one we don't need that anymore this is the one we imported from from the game you grab this cow barn uh, go into your gameplay find your placeholders transform yeah let me just type it place holder there is nothing so there isn't one all right so let's just create one create transform and just rename it to um, place holders just like that select it uh, open your window user attributes just make this a bit bigger type here on create with a capital C select the script callback and say add and then just type here with a capital letter place holders like that place holders dot on create all right so now what this is going to do is going to allow it's a script that runs on this folder so whatever you put in here will not load in the game it will only load via the XML so though it's here in the map it's visible and we can tweak it and work with it it will not be visible in game that's what the placeholders does so now what we're going to do is select the scale barn file export with files all right and we're going to go into the map into that folder where we've got the animal husbandry and let's go with cow barn large like they call it in the uh, new game all right carbon large save do you want to get the parent directory structure yes you want that's the fs22 and do you want to keep the relative paths yes so now what happens is it just puts an i3d and a shape file for you there of this whole carbon and all the changes that you've made to it all right so now you've just created yourself a custom carbon 
and this one we can close up we don't need that anymore um, if we go now to that uh, folder animal husbandry you'll see Calbon Lodge there it is with its shape file alright so this is your new your newly created Calbon so if we open this now which we should do every time you save it or do changes to it re-export it because this is the R3D now that the XML the placeables that XML is going to load then you select the main transform for it and zero it remember the zeroing here is very important on everything on the rotate as well as the the, the um, positioning the translate all right so that six must always be zero here okay because we're going to give it its positioning in the placeables.xml right so the next thing to do remember is to take this directory so i'm going to click here on top going to go from my map folder everything behind that i'm going to select that and copy Control c going to now open up our items.xml and uh, re fix this directory now to there control v like that and we're going to change all the backslashes to the forward slashes sorry no i'm talking trash this is not where husbandry cow is it that is under maps xml this is the xml directory guys so it is xml that we've created and then the husbandry cow lodge has changed now to uh, sorry i'm jumping to and fro now maps xml i just want to get the right name for it uh cow barn big all right so that must be cow barn big so we're gonna go cow uh cow uh, barn with a capital big like so cow barn big that xml is the correct xml all right and then the position and rotation we're gonna now grab here that's our position and rotation so control shift c into the xml override that control v all right so save it here it is and now if we go now back to um, the directory back in here to placeables animal husbandry and that's where our cow lodge is so we want to just click this again grab that control c and go into that xml of ours which will be uh it's on the maps xml cow barn big now we need to change this directory here to the r3d i hope you're keeping track guys <laughs> Oh my word, remember this XML calls the R3D, the custom cow R3D that we've made. Oh, sorry, this is not it, but it is the right directory for it. We're in the wrong spot. Remember, this is the nav mesh that we've created. So it's also in the same directory. If I can just point it to you, uh, maps, placeables, husbandry. There's the nav mesh we created. So that is the dynamically loaded part. All right, so we need that name to change to nav mesh it's just nav mesh like that and then this directories must also reflect there all right so it's maps placeables animal husbandry good uh and then on top on the very top of the xml is where it calls the r3d this we also want to go there control v so this is the actual R3D that it's calling, the new custom one that we've been spending the last hour or what to make. This is the R3D, this one, cow one big. All right, but we've exported that into placeables, animal husbandry, and there it is. So this is the R3D it's calling. So the XML pulls this into the game the moment your game starts. However, this one here in the in the map once you're happy with it and you've done everything and your map is completed and you want to publish your map and you're totally happy with everything you can come and delete this whole placeholders transform with everything in it because all this stuff that's in here is called here via the placeables.xml or the items.xml in this case uh, it's an fs19 converted map all this stuff that's in here 
is supposed to be placed over into the placeables XML. It's the right way to do it. I haven't spent the, didn't bother doing that because I mean it's no point in worrying about that. Right, so there you go, there you go. Um, what's very important is the stuff in here will obviously not work for um, for FS22 so we need to convert uh, uh, fix that as well it's part of what we need to do and in order to do that have we now finished with the Calbon uh, we haven't balanced the XML yet we'll get back to that but let's quickly just grab the correct setting for a uh, for a Calbon and as simple as easy as this they don't have any um, cows on, on, on that farm but I think we'll add them 10 cows just to be just for the fun of it you know uh, then uh, that way what's going on now that way you can also um, see how to do that my computer is a bit slow by the looks of it so just grab any map guys we just want the XML um, the XML data for the placeable so what we're going to do now is just buy it in game place it save the map and then we're going to go out of the map again and um, grab all the data in there from the placeables.xml so very simple simple procedure I think the naming of that uh, barn might also change because stuff changed a little bit from FS22 to um, let me just put my volume down a bit more oh, it's a bit loud uh, let's just add some bucks because we're going to need some bucks and then buy ourselves cow barn animals um, we did the cow large do take the one that you have uh, used for the custom thing why is it overlapping overlapping with what you see now I'm struggling to there you go right you just want to place it anywhere on your form there it is there and then immediately you just save the game and quit oh I forgot um, before we do that I wanted to show you uh, show you that when you add the cows there it also does change a little bit in the in that uh, um, placeable on the XML side because you can load food um, you can load a lot of stuff for the cows you know okay so uh, first things first I just want to get my speed up a little bit so help a little bit to run faster and uh, let's buy some cows um, I like these little Holsteins these are age zero that's a baby you want the 18 the 12 months one so uh, 12 months once are this breed is used for dairy uh, cows like grass water 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 they're healthy and order what 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 so we select those the 12 month ones I'm sure can already uh, gestation period sorry the age is 12 months on that just want to have a look age 18 months 10 months puberty 18 months yeah let's just take these big ones you know because they're going to give milk directly so let's give the guy 20 cows to play with and start with buy uh, yes okay good there's 20 cows inside there should be 20 cows inside there they are happy and can you see um, what happened now with the placeable that um, things they, they loaded loaded the grass and they also removed the foliage and stuff on the outside of the where you place the mod look at this here so that's that uh, um, foliage areas and uh, place areas and what what they have all those different areas good so now what we want to do now that we've got the cows in there maybe we should drop drop some food in here too just to get get the guy going and have a look at how this milking robots is situated they are pointing towards the feeding area so if we want to verify we can now um, have a visual of how this feeding robots is sitting you know um, in this area yeah so you can actually figure out what you want to do but let's just put some um, 
some stuff into this trailer. Uh, is this connected? No, it's not. Strange. It's not connected. Anyway, uh, F12. Let's just fill this trailer with some food. Uh, uh, what is that thing called? Not silage, forage, total mixed ration. Let's fill it with some total mixed ration. This is 8,000 liters. I'm going to do it about twice for these cows because um, obviously um, you want a few days food. I don't know how, how long 20 cows will eat on 8,000 liters but I've, I've come to realize that in game this the feeding I don't know, I can't remember in FS22 but I think the feeding was quite off you know how much cows actually can eat in a day you know you quickly realize when you have like 250 cows how many tons of food they eat uh, a day compared to real life you know it's like totally ridiculous but anyway we'll not go in about that so I think two two of those will be fine and if I'm correct um, I can't remember now if, if water is supplied or if you need to add water to this we'll have a look now oh this is one of those trailers that are extremely difficult to um, to reverse okay so I'm gonna just open here let's have a check that's our liquid manure uh, can't remember if we you see this is that plane with the food we've added some food now and then the plane appeared okay so that's the one which we've made smaller is there water in the troughs yeah i think the water is is automatically added on the carbon big um what's this guided to a nonsense now i've never seen this oh that's the i said yes there probably uh, my word um i wanted to have a look at the animals yeah you see water is automatically provided in this um in this barn whereas with the with the medium and the small i think you need to add water or need to give water so we are totally happy with that the cows are happy let's save and exit good there you go and now we can quickly exit the game go back into our map well let's not go into the map first let's just go in here did I close that cow barn? yes I did I'm not going to bother with the direction of those things now guys you can on your own time figure it out just by like I said going into the game and check the direction buy it and what have you so save game 2 I think was the one we've just done uh, the placeables at XML and then normally at the very bottom of your XML will be um, the last thing that you've bought good there it is the cow barn big so we need to grab this whole thing do not copy the last placeable because that's not part of the barn you click on the first placeable and it will show you where that section for that whole uh, thing ends so just copy that because otherwise you're going to have problems guys into our items and what i'm going to do now is just put this below it press home control V there you go and now what we need to do now is just bring this you see yeah it did change so in here it's a placeable there's a class name animal husbandry so it, it definitely changed so very important um, and you're gonna have to do this for all your placeables uh, fix them up and get the right stuff in there so file name we want uh, to copy that control C file name overwrite it there control V and then positioning so this is how simple it is guys control C position control V and then uh, control V that last one was a seven it wasn't part of it the rotation is zero H and that stuff H and price you can delete you don't need those and also the ID you can delete you don't need that stuff that confuses good um, if this is the barn on the farm you would like to add a default form prop 
per t uh, equal not plus equals colon two in there like so uh, and then colon again and space remember the spacings are very important guys if you don't have a space error and the thing don't work uh, if you've got a front slash or a backslash where a front slash should be stuff doesn't work if there's a space there for instance uh, xml there is space it won't work anyway if there's a space there it won't work um, yeah so very important not to make mistakes and always to verify that what you've placed when you click it is uh, correct and i can see all these black things uh, that this guy has got in this XML you have to remove those those are going to cause terrific problems uh, so just remove all of the stuff that's not supposed to be there if you want to name uh, a thing like this is Calbon 1 for instance what you can do is um, just delete those things as we definitely going to call a problem so what you do is put a smaller than sign like that so and then an exclamation mark two little dashes and then a space and then type the name that you want to name it cow2 you immediately see it's green which is good and then a space again two dashes and end it with a greater than sign now you've got it correct and now there will be no problems in your xml all right, so that's a correct way to do it, guys. Just do it right, and even Test Runner will pass this. It it will not give you errors, but Test Runner will definitely give you millions of errors if you pass put this thing to Test Runner. It's going to tell you there's invalid um, characters <laughs> at all of those black things. You'll be fixing problems for for another year, you know, with all those little spelling things and problems and stuff. Good. So, um, so that's our items done. And now, lastly, you need to also add uh, add this now. Oh my word! I forgot now. We have to delete this whole thing here on top now. Obviously, because we are done with it. And you'll see in FS19 it started item, whereas in FN22 it's placeable. All right. So very important. I'm actually doing this in the items. Uh, items.xml you can't do it in the items this actually should go into the placeables.xml so I'm going to control exit here and do it in the right spot um, which is going to be a placeables.xml Rudolf Hoffman Calbon Beck where is we now I don't know what this computer of mine is busy with it's so weird, busy doing weird things. Uh, desktop, new map. Like that, it had a thing up here and I couldn't deselect it. I had to click on it to deselect it. I don't know what is going. Maybe there was an update on Windows, some new stuff that happened because it had an update the other day and now suddenly there's things happening in my normal workings. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Anyway, here's the map. Uh, I don't see maps. You see, this thing's not going to have a placeables.xml. So, once again, I'm just going to paste this back here before we lose it. And then we need to create one now for this map. So, back into Farming Simulator 22 data, maps, and then choose any map, guys. Doesn't matter which map. Um, if you have a preferable map, it doesn't really matter. Just grab one, copy this placeable, placeable, and drop it into your map directory where all your stuff is. All right, and then what you need to do, uh, open this up. <coughs> all the placeables inside. So that's your start of placeables. That's end of placeables. So you'll delete everything inside just to make the placeables empty, except for the first and the last one, like that. Now we're going to just, just create some space there, and I wonder, yeah, the Calbon is not in my, um, in my little uh, copy thing anymore, so I copy it there, actually I exit there, control X, save this, go in uh, placeables.xml, 
control V. There is it. All right, so that's our first converted um, animal cow born or animal husbandry for, for this map. There you go. So save it. Now the next thing we want to do is because we've now created a placeables.xml for um, for this map, we need to specify that as well. Now just as you are in that same place where you were in that map where you copied it, go into the... Uh, it's not going to be... there is no mod disks for the game, so go into any other map um, just going to grab any map uh, that I have, so on my start map, open the mod desk and you'll see there's a line for the placeables, so default placeables.xml, you want to copy that alright, like so control C and then go into your maps mod desk again so close that up, maps mod desk so this is the map right here it's the mod map no, that's not. Huh? Is this? No, this is the maps XML. My word. What a place to put your XML right in the root directory. But anyway, it's all right. There's the modisk. And then just add it here before or after items.xml. Doesn't really matter. I'm just going to put it there. Control V. Give a space. And make sure there's a space before and after. Just give a space there. Good. Right. And as you now carry on with the with the um, the placeables, your items XML will get less and less and less. So you you convert one year, bring it over the same process, and put it into your new placeable, and th that way this site will fill up. Good. And now in here you can change a tip, guys. Yes, colorable settings for those bonds. Um, it doesn't really matter because the barn the visuals doesn't work anymore so uh, that we definitely want to take out so you don't want color in there um, and then husbandry storage will be form one uh, cows you see we've bought 20 and you will see there's food for it 16,000 liters so yeah you can now modify the cows the age and everything for that specific cows. All right, so very nice to have that in your XML um, sorted out. All right, so that is all done. The next thing you want to do, uh, the mod disks we can close because we're done with that. The next thing you want to do is um, modify this cow barn, uh, the st store items for this. All right, oh. That's also going to be in the mod desk. So I want to show you the right way to do it. So we open the mod desk once again. I uh, already closed it, but anyways. And you'll see there's some store items already in here, which is good. If you don't have store items in your mod desk, it means that they are in the store items.xml, which I find, uh, uh, I don't know if it's sorted out in the, in the latest updates, but in the past, rather put all your store items in here in the mod disk that's the best way to have it um, if you put it in the store items um, sometimes there are problems with it can't find the store items and all kinds of nonsense so have it in here and all should be well all right so once again uh the husbandry cow large the cow one one is the one that we've now done so we're going to modify this to be maps and then xml xml so we can just go in here to our I'm going to close this items because we're done with it go back into here so it's maps XML carbon big so we copy that control C just to make sure we've got the right um, XML calling so like there so these are store items done as well so now we've got the store items done we've got the placeables done and we just need to balance now this whole entire um, uh, uh, custom cow so first things first um, just want to have a quick browse here that's all fine this memory stuff you can delete uh, very very important to delete that otherwise if you publish your map to giants they will ask you to delete it <laughs> every XML in your in your game every XML even your map.xml all the memory lines you have to delete so just do it anyway it's good base cow one big that we're already done now okay so now what we need to do guys uh, it is very simple 
we need to open that i3d that we have done so now basically we are done in the map so i can now save my map just export it like that save it up right there it is it's close so we can close the map now we're done with it and now we're going to go into um, into the placeables it's maps placeables into the husbandry and open our Calbon Lodge, the one that we've exported. We want to balance that I3D now together with this XML. All right, so I'm going to minimize this uh, so that I can do this. We don't need to see the Calbon now. All we want is the directory here. So we need to now make sure that we can. I um, just want to go this a little bit like that. So there we go. This we can minimize. Here we go. All right. So, first things first. This stuff we can ignore. The placement. Teleport node. It's the first one. It's at zero, zero. So, let us find the teleport node. Control C. You can do it either f working on this side and checking the XML. Or you can do the XML and checking the I3D. So, they all need to be the same. Uh, both... Uh, well, the XML needs to be fixed so it, it is the same than the I3Ds because we've done a custom here, so we need to do the changes that are here. We need to put it in the XML. That's basically what needs to happen. All right, so teleport node. Um, I know that it's definitely at the mappings, but um, the easiest is to just copy. So I'm going to just work through the thing but maybe because we've deleted a lot of stuff here let's work the other way around let's work from the xml side back to the r3d rather because that way we know we're going to sort out the the um the i3d correctly so placement we don't have a placement to worry about um what you can do here guys the test areas i don't think we've changed anything in there uh, if you look at test areas uh, test areas there it is start end whatever you can if you want because it's a custom one we can actually just grab all these test areas delete them like so leave only the transform all right and then you need to do here in the xml do the same do delete only those don't delete these two little brackets because that's part of the placement all right so that is one way uh, um, area of getting away with it the next one is clear areas so we're going to do away with the clear areas as well loop like that mm, if you take away the clear areas it might not put your grass but anyway let's just leave it as is uh, clear areas find clear areas there it is and then delete all the clear areas all right leaving the the main transform for so that keeps the num numbers the same or the things the same right then leveling the same with leveling we don't need leveling so just delete the insides of the leveling and paint areas so leveling and paint we've deleted that so let's go into the i3d leveling uh, get rid of all the leveling stuff and the paint areas paint areas we don't want those right 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 leveling and paint foliage areas you have to leave remember we set those and it tells you here what type of grass um, the deco foliage will load for you so you can choose here grass long grass medium grass short whatever so you can put in there what what you want load it indoor areas um, i'm going to leave that uh, indoor areas as is because we i think we did set some indoor areas there so leave that alone uh, indoor areas how many are there these are quite a few of them indoor height all right foliage areas these are foliage areas paint and test areas tip occlusion <coughs> now tip occlusion guys um i always find it just delete the tip occlusion stuff it's just no 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 need to do that and yes some ah just leave it it's fine 
pivot, it's fine. We don't have to bother with that tip collision. We did do a tip occlusion update. I can't remember. Did we did set this if I'm correct. This is collision where you can't tip things, you know. So I think um, we'll get to that a bit later on. This is the occlusion. So we'll get later on to that. The AI, we did leave that. Um, update areas, hotspot cows. There we go. Teleport node. So there we go to the next thing. And teleport node, I think, was right on top. So this one calls by name, not by node. So that's all right. You see it's called teleport node. So when you teleport to there, it will use the name instead of the node number here, yeah, which is zero, 00. Okay. But I think when we get down to the I3D mapping, it's going to use the, the index path. So let's get cracking with the rest. Okay. So in here, animated object for milk, rolling door. Remember we deleted the doors. Part. Okay, so these doors we can actually the whole animated objects can go, but let's just do them one at a time. So I'm just going to select there on top and then go through. That's rolling door one, uh, doors, 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 door two, door two, doors, 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 door three, door triggers, door, door, door. And these things, you, you, if you wanted to keep the doors and add the doors to FS22. You're going to have to leave this, but you're going to have to um, set them, obviously, in the R3D in the right places and the triggers and all of that to work. Okay, animated objects uh, are definitely just going to select up to there. Up, up to there. It's just deleted like that. They not need it. All right. So in there, do we have animated objects in here? Just want to make sure I don't see any animated objects. Animated, yeah, now we deleted them completely, so that's fine. All right, dynamically loaded parts. Now here it goes. Um, this is a light switch, so we don't we don't want the light switch. So chuck the light switch. The control panel is the one we've done, all right, as well as uh, the milk container. So that's the two that we've done settings for. Um, just want to see node zero and node zero for the milk container. All right, so let's just have a look there. It was at, I think, milk tank, was it? Uh, no, it wasn't the milk trigger. It was... Uh, Link node is control. So the link node is control. So if I type here control, we should uh, find it. Here it is. Okay, so close it up. So it's at dynamically loaded parts. There it is. Control. Remember, we set those two positions. Those are good. So control is the one, and milk container is the other one that it calls. So that calls there, that two, that's fine. Right, and then lights. Um, we deleted the whole lights thing that we leave the that we leave the um, transform for it lights yes we did o six o so that's fine group night weather required so lights uh, lights up to there like so info trigger right info trigger once again it's just a name that's called i remember we we started with that and uh, found that info trigger there it is good and then husbandry there's nothing really in the husbandry i think that we need to set animals loading station unloading station water liquid manure food food fences fences is one thing that we want to get rid of we did delete the whole fences thing i think just make sure fences there it is okay fences delete the fences once again just delete the inside stuff and that's the end of husbandry deleted nodes leave that alone
color ball. Now the color ball section, we deleted uh, everything there. So chuck the color balls. Color ball, that's fine. And start with the I3D mappings. Once again, this is the important things, guys, the I3D mappings. So teleport node will be zero, right? Then we're going to go uh, full volume food. So I'll copy that or, or just double click copy. Thanks, Sunny. My, f my wife is like up and down with drinks today. That's wonderful. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, full volume food. There it is. Just verify zero one zero zero one zero. That's what's important. Exact full uh, root node food. There's that one zero one one, and that uh, you just go through the whole list and the ones that you've deleted you delete and the ones that are there uh, make sure that they're at the right spot. You know, so food place one. Food place one is zero one two zero zero one two zero, and I can already tell you food place eight will be right. So uh, zero one two seven. There you go. So bail trigger zero one three. Bail trigger zero one three. Right door base one. Okay, so doors we deleted doors 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 up to there. Sliding door trigger storage right so storage is a zero three storage zero three that's fine now i'm not too sure whether this storage will cause a problem because it's not there anymore um i think rather just delete the map because it's not there anymore because otherwise you're gonna have a problem um all right, next thing, exact full root node straw. So that will be here in straw. 0 for 3, you see, straw plane. Oh, babe, gosh, I forgot about straw plane. Now, straw plane uh, is going to be straw plane 0, 1. So straw plane has changed. Remember, we uh, modified it with, um, with the new straw plane for... Um, or, or the old straw plane. So I just want to quickly verify now which one do we use. I'm sure Alpha 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 O2 Alpha. I'm not too sure what this is, but uh, I suppose we just use straw plane zero one. So copy that name. The ID is straw plane. So control V straw plane one. So select the line. Control C. And control V twice one two three times because we've got three planes and then make that two and that one three all right and then go back in here so that's straw plane one it's zero four zero which is uh, right straw plane two will be zero four one so we need to change that to a one and zero four two like that for the three planes. So I can't just can't remember now if um, let me just if this if this is the plane and I don't know what that's the plane alpha. Yeah no use the plane guys that's the actual thing. So we are correct in our thinking. Good. So that's our straw planes and then the last one exact full root note straw will be zero for three now not for one and that's just how you're going to go now through this whole little thing balancing the whole thing making sure every node here is reflected in the r3d that it's calling because otherwise you're going to have errors in game and your cow's barn is not going to work all right so ex uh, exact full root note now the milk tank has got the milk trigger 050 that's correct that's why i said it's important if you delete something inside leave the leave the empty transform there it's not going to harm anything but it's going to help you not to worry about now because if i deleted doors for instance that um 
milk triggers name is going to change and then you have to come in here and change all of that so it saves you a bit of work you know so i now know that the whole milk tank thing ai loading ai loading node milk ai loading node milk up to 054 i know all of that is now correct okay so now for the lights so everything to do with lights we can delete light switch up to there because we didn't use the lights all right liquid manure trigger is the next one so milk ton tank is done lights is done liquid manure open that up and there's the trigger 070 good right ai loading note 071 that's fine water place one uh, water places so that's eight up to 04 which will be 083 that's correct navigation root node i think this is only the main transform that's called so navigation root node 09 that's perfect all right so we don't do anything inside uh, fences fences we've deleted so fences go vector garage i think also go vector garage Oh, the splines we've deleted but let's just see vector garage it's 011 but uh, we deleted it so i'm gonna chuck vector garage as well as the four splines that we deleted marker milk very important that's part of the um marker milk 0120 zero. warning stripes 012 Where's the markers gone? I don't have markers. Who deleted the markers? Hmm? This is carbon big. We used the carbon. I did not delete the markers. Mm -hmm, that is so strange. Markers. All the markers are deleted. Warning stripes. Oh, I deleted the warning stripes. Mm, that is not good. Okay. I'm going to show you how to recover from that. It's very simple, guys. Do not panic. I'm going to show you quickly. So we open um, open Calbon Big, which is under Farming Simulator, Rudolf Hoffman. We've done that a few times. Open up. Luckily, it's an in-game thing, you know, so we can quickly recover from that. Carbon. There's the Carbon, and we want to go to Warning Stripes. So, File. Export with Files. Into our map directory. And I'm just going to, mind you, anywhere, just going to drop it in here. There's not a lot of stuff in here. just want to make a temp directory just to keep track of whatever temp in there and then we know yeah i'll just call it marker just like that save it and then yes yes to both of those and close up here and then what we're going to do now is in our animal husbandry where we <coughs> lost our warning stripes go file import it open that one that you've just imported and uh drop with your middle mouse button drop it just below that to exit current one if i can just get there it is so sensitive uh, that one is 012 so we delete that so this one becomes 012 there you go all right so there's all our markers back now once it's imported into this i can just save it and uh, i can go back in here into my map it's maps maps temp there it is i can now just delete that marker so it delete the old directory because it's already imported into this r3d that we are working with very nifty very handy so these are marker milk marker animals marker liquid manure and marker food that's that little round icons that pops up you know so uh you might might need to uh pop that around uh, marker milk is at that tank so I want to go to the milk tank milk trigger so grab the milk triggers control C 
Control Shift C, grab, grab that th three there. So milk and milk will put in the same place. Control Shift V. There it is. So just at the same spot. The animal marker animals is for the loading trigger. Animal loading. Uh, animal loading. Animal loading. AI liquid manure. Where is the animal loading? It's just called the loading trigger, man. There it is. Remember? That's for the loading trigger. So marker animals. Uh, it's control shift C. And then uh, loading trigger. No, sorry. Loading trigger control shift C. We don't want. Uh, we want that one there. Control shift V. There it is. And liquid manure is that little thing. Uh, where is that? Is at the liquid manure trigger. There it is. Copy that. Marker there. Control shift V on there. All right. Mark a food, and that's where the food food is a food place. Uh, full volume food, uh, food, full volume food. At the food places, I think it's going to be there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll use that directory. Control Shift C. Uh, I know that thing is a little bit here in front, you know. So let's copy that. Control Shift C and then mark a food. Where is it now? Mark a food. We're going to put in the same. Control V. Did we not? Food places. It's at zero zero zero. Oh, okay. Ah, mark of food. Oh, wait, what's going on here, guys? Suddenly, nothing wants to work anymore. So let's just pull the thing out. Bring it in here where it should be somewhere. I know it's somewhere here, yeah. so if we now go to uh, Mocker, Mock Tank, Food. Yeah, that's close enough. Just don't delete it, guys. <laughs> that's my big, big tip for you there. All right, so back there, uh, minimize. Uh, we can go back now. So we add Mocker, Food, Mocker, Food. Mark of food is 12.3. 12.3, that's good. Mark of, mark of info trigger. So info trigger is 013. Mark of info trigger 013. Right. Now. Uh, clear and level areas. Loading trigger 015. Did we do the loading trigger? Yeah. We 015, yeah. If we're, uh, okay, so clear area, level area that we can delete. Clear level indoor area. I can't remember if we left that now, but we'll check now. Level area. So, oops. I hate it when that happens when you leave the mouse button and then suddenly before you leave it, your hand moves. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> okay, level area we def definitely deleted there. Uh, indoor areas I think we left the indoor areas so we leave those indoor area one start is 0 018 that's perfect paint areas we deleted paint areas and test areas so paint areas and test areas we deleted those uh, Foliage area we left. So foliage area, let's just have a look at foliage area. Start and end. So height will be uh, 0, 0.1901. Uh, foliage area 0, 0.1901 height. Okay, so just to verify, guys. Tip occlusion area. Tip occlusion update area. 
So there is once again just go to the last one to verify the note 2210 2210 so that's all right tip collision tip collision uh, 0 023 and vector 231 yeah that's fine control 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 I don't see control. Oh, that's that's control is for your uh, control box. So zero twenty four. Uh, it's at dynamically. That's milk, uh, milk container control. That's fine. I'm sure that will be fine. Zero twenty four one is milk. Yeah, there you go. Winter, winter. We've left icicles. Winter is the whole transform, like I said earlier on. So that will be twenty five. Um, that's fine. Carbon, yeah, that two, the two visuals that we leave one. Let me just have a look. Yeah, we did lot zero. Uh, but I think I think we've done deleted everything there, so those two can go. Carbon one and two visuals. Then the water plane. I can't remember that we've done a water plane. 26 collision <gasps> it's full master is it no it can't be control C copy that let's go back in here search for that we don't have a water plane mm. trying to remember now if that's going to be a problem Let's just have a look if the water plane is found somewhere else in this I3D. Only one uh, instance. So that's just a plane. But this... Um, remember this cow bond does not uh, get watered. So... Um, hmm, 26. I don't remember. I recall that we have deleted that that's 26 is it in here full master 26 zero uh, 10 I'm just going to leave that as is. Doesn't really matter. And then the very last thing, Carbon 02 Visual Lot uh, 02612. I don't think we have anything. Uh, 26 one, we've deleted that. So just get rid of that too. And I think I'm just going to delete the water plan as well because it's not in the I3D. So I don't think, because it's not called anywhere else in the in the XML. So it's not a, a working part that is... Um, needed and remember our our actual map has got its own little water plane there where we've put the water places for the cows on the thing all right so there you go so all of that is now sorted and my friends now that we have all of this done we can save and close that and our cow bond xml is now sorted it's calling uh, we leave all the other stuff in here default you can name your cow barn if you want to name it you can put a name here just delete everything in here and put a name here uh, main cow barn one or give it the map name you know um, gatehead farm or gatehead cow bound one or whatever you want to call it just don't put funny characters in there just give it a normal name don't put an and sign or like I say just straightforward text um, no funny characters like hashes and slashes or or ands and whatever just put a name in there and it will be fine so this xml now calls our i3d and the placeables will call the xml and the xml will be placing that carbon at, at this position in your map when the map starts and the mod disk will do the honors of adding the carbon uh, to the store items, which will be fine. And then that way 
you've just done a custom cow guys now your cows will walk freely on the new navigation mesh which is also by the way called here uh, in the XML remember we changed the, the place for it um, somewhere here it is so our nav mesh is under animals and it calls our new nav mesh which is now here by the maps uh, placeables uh, animal husbandry nav mesh here it is alright so nav mesh is there there it is nav mesh dot i3d so this nav mesh will there for the animal keys to walk on and be happy great if you do want to change the um, amount of um, cows that your cow barn can handle you can up this here I think it can handle up to 500 cows but I mean it's it is a custom cow it's got a large um, fence outside so you can actually roll this up to 500 you know just for safe for, for the fun of it it will not display 500 cows because um, your game will crash when it does that <laughs> there's no way that it can handle 500 cows animated walking around and grazing and doing all that stuff that's why I think the biggest uh, uh, the max animation of cows is I think it's 30 or 32 or something like that um, you can't have more than those showing on the field great guys well thank you so so much for watching i hope it's been insightful it's been a pretty much of a, a nice um a nice setup uh, have a wonderful awesome day do remember to like and to subscribe if you do like my content do consider my patreon for support it does help me out i really appreciate that guys have an awesome wonderful day i'll catch you on the next one cheers